Hello everybody, I'm Miss Mon Mon. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing a DIY recipe for hair setting spray. I normally use a setting spray when setting my hair and either go for something like poison apple or my homemade spray which I will be sharing with you today. Now I am not going to take credit for the original bones of this recipe, it is not mine. I found it from a blog by Casey Coaster, also known as Film Noir, and she found it from the Fedora Lounge thread. So this recipe has been around for a very long time. There are several variations of this on YouTube and in the blogosphere, but I just wanted to share with you my own variation of this recipe. And of course, I didn't want to take credit for it because I did not come up with, even though it is a really old idea. To make this setting spray, you will need three quarters of a cup of water, half a cup to one cup of additional water, one tablespoon of whole flax seeds or linseeds, I normally add in half a teaspoon of rose water and some lavender essential oils. To make your setting spray, you will start by boiling your three quarters of a cup of water. Add your tablespoon of flax seeds, stir and bring it to the boil for about five minutes. It is best to use whole flax seeds as ground flax seeds don't produce as much gel, which is what you want out of this. Stir it occasionally and do not cook it for longer than 10 minutes. At this point, your mixture should be getting really thick, but it shouldn't be as thick as a gel. Keep in mind, it's supposed to be sprayed onto your hair, so you really don't want it to be super gelatinous. When you're happy with the consistency, take it off the heat and drain it into a small bowl. Get as many of the flax seeds out as quickly as you can or else they'll end up in your spray bottle and then you spray it onto your hair and people will think you have bugs in your hair, which is not what you want. Here I add half a teaspoon of rose water and a couple of drops of essential oils. This basically just makes it smell really lovely, floral and fresh and it's just my own little touch which I find works and I think it also makes my hair a little bit shinier but that could just be wishful thinking. You can add any essential oil that you want depending on what fragrance you prefer. Whisk your mixture until it is thick. Add your extra cup of water. Depending on how strong of a hold you can use more or less water. Less water will have a thicker consistency, so stronger curls, and more water will dilute the solution, making your curls softer. Your mixture is now ready. You have the option of pouring it into a jar, which you can then store in the fridge, or pouring it into a spray bottle, which you can then store in the fridge. I normally keep it in this spray bottle, as everyone in the house knows, not to put this on their food, because you will not enjoy that at all. Ta-da! Here it is. You can totally see through this, but she's in there. This will keep for up to two weeks. If you aren't sure, give it the smell test. If your eyes roll to the back of your head, it is not good. Throw it out and make a new batch. And if it smells fine, just keep using it. This recipe is super easy, super affordable, and super quick. I buy a kilo of flax seeds for $3 from my local supermarket and I just pick it up as I need and it lasts me a really long time because you only need a tablespoon really. Flax seeds are really good for you, they are wonderful for your hair and I just like having a nice natural way of curling my hair. There are two ways you can use this setting spray. When you are ready to curl your hair, take a thin section, spray your setting spray onto the hair comb it through a few times and then use whatever curler you want and roll your hair. The second way you can use them is if you are using foam rollers, you can then dip the roller into the setting spray and then roll it up to the top of your head. If you are doing this method, make sure that your hair is dry before you take out the rollers. Sometimes you can take one out, see whether it's dry. If it's not, roll it back up and leave it for a bit longer. 
I sometimes set my hair in the afternoon if I need it for the next day, if I'm going to use this method to make sure my hair dries. But normally I just spray it into my hair, it just is a lot quicker and cleaner for me and I find it works just as well. For me personally, this is day three of the same set and you know, there's, there's shape to it but it's not as curly as it was but this is three days using flaxseed setting spray which is pretty good. I'm finding the wave to be really nice and soft but of course you can reset your hair whenever you need to. I find this solution works really, really well. I really am glad that I have rediscovered this setting spray. I really hope you find this recipe helpful. If you do try it out, please let me know. Tag me in any photos and I would love to see how your hair comes out. If you have any questions or queries, please comment them down below. You can also read more information in the link in the description box, which takes you to my blog. I will have so many links and information. Everything should hopefully be answered there for you already. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, all the links are also down below. And please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you along for this journey of vintage glamour and tomfoolery. Until next time, I will see you guys all in the next video. But be kind, be true and be you. I love you all. Bye.